That looks pretty doggone good. There's a bunch of water oaks right here around me, pouring acorns. There's no hogs in here, all deer. And they're coming through, I'm in a funnel. sides of me a long ways away. Never right here. This will be my first set here. I've always walked through it. Haven't paid it much attention. But it's, it's pretty hot right now. Right in front of me is a real, real thick. It's, it's like an old field grew up in dog panels. It's real thick. I know these deer bedded in there. Same thing behind me. The opening over there, uh, where the, the water's at, there's a big creek over there on that side. So I'm in a good funnel if there were no food. Some, some rubs right below me. This looks pretty good. Skeeters are fierce. It's November, something or other. Fifth or sixth or something like that. I've got my homemade longbow here. The seven stack of sharp. And uh, we up to bag us one this evening. We'll see. found the old girl. I hit her back a little bit. A lot. Well not a lot. Middle of her back ribs there. And uh, she made a big loop around. Or not a big loop. She probably ran 75 yards. I had a, if, if you saw the shot there she ran and stopped and I had that. It looked like she was swaying a little bit then about to go down. And uh, she come on around and, and bounced around and I actually it took me a while to find her because I Call myself going to look instead of treading blood. When I finally got back, and uh, I was actually going back to get on blood and walk right up on her. And then I got to look, and it was a profuse blood trail. I had just got off of it a little bit over there. She's a, she's a nice old doe here. Before I could get out, I was going to sit on till dark. And uh, I, I had uh, two deer come in on front of me. 
and and I was about to get to shoot one of them, and uh, they got where she had stopped, and and there was some blood there, and I guess it spooked them, and they wandered around, and walked off, and then right at dark when I started to climb down, two more deer come from behind me. So that's a, that's a pretty good spot in there. I'm a tickle. This is uh, number seven. This is number seven for the year. And uh, killer with my same bow I killed a deer and them two pigs with uh, last week. Old homemade bow. And uh, it's doing pretty good. A Simmons tiger shark that my buddy Chris Spike sharpened for me. And uh, I always got to thank that hillbilly John Pardue for this dog wear quiver. I, I love it. It's the best. If you ain't going to have a quiver on your bow, you need to get you one of them right there. Fine quivers. And I got a brand new one at home. Listen here, it's got some wear on it, but shoot, it works good. <laughs> I'll use my brand new one later on, maybe. Well, I'm uh, about 300 yards. I've been in the canoe. Uh, been hunting some really fine public land. I'm talking about good bucks on this place, and I just ain't a trophy hunter. I thought I had shot this deer. I sent uh, John a text telling him I shot an eight yard doe. Well, the truth of it is when I got down, she was four yards. <laughs> So uh, I can hit them kind at four yards. And, uh, but anyway, I got her. I'm fitting the, I'm fitting the bone route right here. Put her in the meat sack, wherever it's at, and uh, and get on up out of here. I don't have to work tomorrow, so I, I'm, I hadn't been in a hurry. I actually give her about two hours. When I went and looked at the air, and it showed that I hit her back, I just waited. Two, I, I sat in the tree to dark, so it was an hour when I shot her, and I probably give her three hours. Just to be safe, I didn't want to push her because I, I don't want to spend all night trailing a deer. But uh, it's pretty old doe, she's healthy. A good many acorns on the ground. And uh, I'm proud to get her. I thank the good Lord for allowing me to do this kind of stuff. I do appreciate it. I'm, it's a blessing. I, I, I'm so proud that I, little things like this make me happy. It's a big thing to me. It don't take a whole lot of money, it don't take a whole lot of nothing, just this old longbow and a swamp, and I'm one tickle jucker. Thank you, Lord. Well, let's get busy. we got some work to do, and some paddling. <laughs> ah. 